maybe the next boss will be more aggressive. Uh, I would say maybe it would be for the best on any boss fight, though, to have Adele have counter savvy. Let me look at what the phantom ability is with evasion. What does it give you if you evade properly? Turntables. BP to increase by one. So, like, I guess that would be better than critical flow. Because we can assume we'll get BP. That knight's there. We can assume we would get, and I can't go this way, BP from... Uh, just getting counterattacked every time we do our attack. I mentioned it before too, but like I think magical attacks don't count. That's why it specifically says physical. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't just a magic version of counter savvy. Whatever, I'm not mad. I'm just trying to make my way. There was a, another path over there. That le I thought that was a chest, but it was just a dumb spirit cube. There's a chest. Soul of uh, Samantha. Thompson soul. I think most items go to the bottom of the list, but the uh, accessories seem to not like to do that. And like helmets and armor are a little different because of their weight class thing. Just, uh, it's actually not that great. Just magical attack up. It's fine, but comparative to other stuff, it's a little whatever. Come, okay. Do your worst. I'm gonna defend the people and go into a fluid stance. I did not mean to go this many times. Okay. Got a little carried away. I really need to make sure Seth doesn't go into negatives because that would lower his defense a tremendous amount. And we need to avoid that altogether. I'm gonna hit you once and hope that's good enough. Because I'm afraid of the knights. And we'll steal spirit from you. Okay, it was good enough. We got critical amp. Results guaranteed. Got some magic back. I don't know what secrets weak to. We'll just do a little bit of a triple. Speed up also. Okay, well it was good enough for you. You are about to witness my true power. Lend us your Worked out. I love it. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to just build a team and not just have to try to level up jobs. I... Maybe it was a bad idea to try to grind, especially since I obviously get myself by making sure I didn't get experience from the grind itself. But I feel like that was the better solution than me trying to force my way through fights with a, like, gambler in the party. Because guess what? Gambler isn't great. I'm not a fan of it. Leveling it up was a bit weird because it did what I thought it would do and sometimes just didn't give me job points. There was nothing here. Oh, uh, I guess that reminds me. I did max out Gambler, so... You can see what its specialty is. Born Lucky just increases the number of winning slots in roulette abilities. Abilities with chances of triggering extra effects are also more likely to do so. That's alright. I should have attacked him. I was going to, and then I thought, no, I can just run past because he's a charging enemy. Oh, but also we should be totally fine. And actually, I think I'm gonna try brute forcing. He might have counters, though. Like that. Should have stuck with the normal thing. Was he vulnerable to water? He'll just do our normal attacks as well. Too easy.
Hush Pollen. It's alright. That's great. We're good. Leave me alone. So I do think I want to... Let me see real quick. Sensei's Belt. Do I have anything that raises speed that I can equip? It doesn't have... It lowers my physical attack, though. I don't think the 5 is worth the minus 10. Oh, that's chance of being targeted. Yeah, I just think the Sensei Belt is still the better option. Critical Chance can maybe come in clutch if we don't have the Achilles heel thing. I was just thinking that obviously more damage would be better. And the idea would be that if we can't do... Wow, okay. I feel like I just stumbled through this, but I feel like if we... um. Like, I want to do the elemental thing once we know what element they're weak to. To add to, um... Adele's attack. But if that doesn't... I don't know. I do like an undead dude. I'm assuming they'll be weak to light damage. Watch out, guys. Guys, watch your back. I didn't mention it too, the spear I have Seth using is only because it has the highest defense. Uh, there are better ones for like attacking, but if I'm gonna use him mainly for defense, I want his defense up. I defended the people already, fluid stance. I'm going to go all out right now, because why not? No, 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 let's get the brave points up, and then... Contagion's gonna be annoying. Let's do Healthbringer. And let's magnify. And then we can start working. Earth, I saw that. Earth weakness. Let's try disaster. Hopefully, wind isn't a problem. Got like a counter magical. And then good. The uh, Basuna Spirit, I think, saved us. Oh, I should have. I forgot why I even did this in the first place. Well, like, slap him real quick. Half damage to dagger is a problem. Is he undead? He is undead. So, I can do a couple of things. Uh, we will just... Devotion just to top off. He didn't attack us, so we're just gonna... Defend the people again. Default again. And then what I want you to do... Is supplement some... I guess we'll do light damage. Can I supplement both? I think I could do more elemental damage. Damn it. See, so that's the thing, is the timing on that can kind of get a little funky. Uh, I don't think I have space for the holy dagger. I'd have to put it on here. I don't think I can do the Ripper. That's fine. The vulnerability did take effect with that, so it was worth it. Mm, I was thinking about putting the health bringer up, but I think I would rather just get devotion going. We didn't steal any of that. Um, okay, people are feeling a little rough. Adele should move faster than Gloria, and I think that should mean that we can set up that elemental supplement. I'm gonna try it again. Seth can get going now. Actually, I'll do... Yeah, I'll do everything. Defend the people. 
fluid left hand, fluid flow, and then we can use blessing on, well, you, but it doesn't heal a lot, but it's decent to have a chunk. Oh, reflect, that's, yes, that is a problem that I never considered. Right. I can't heal with the reflect ring on. I think it's still worth it. We would have to just use items on Seth instead of healing him normally. It worked out because it was an undead. Doritos bow. I didn't consider that at all. That's fine. Uh, I just want to see what the bow is. Magic attack. I think... Tristan's bow is actually really good magic attack wise. If I had enough weight, it I think would be better than Asclepius. And we can get some bonus physical damage. I mean, the fight still worked out pretty well. Seems like he mainly just had counter magic, which is fine. Crystals were created that the essential equilibrium of creation might be maintained. The Knight's Nexus was sealed away in order that this precarious balance might be upheld. Do you seek the same thing? Harmony. Equilibrium. Um... Well, I've never really thought about it that much, to be honest. I set out on this journey to try and decipher the book Lady Emma left behind. I just happened to run into Gloria, and the next thing I know, I'm chatting with the Earth Crystal. Then one thing led to another, and here I am. So all is accidental. Nothing is as you willed it. Ah, no, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean... Life's all about funny coincidences, isn't it? If you set out to achieve one thing, then you get sidetracked. But every decision I made, I stand by. I freely chose the path that led me here. And in choosing, made the path your own. Hi, that's about right. So, don't worry. We'll do what you need us to do. We'll seal the Knight's Nexus away again and save the world. But... I can't guarantee there won't be another detour or two along the way. It matters not. All roads lead to the same destination. I, like you, care little for the method, so long as the result is achieved. <laughs> A crystal after my own heart! Alrighty! Let's go and teach this Nike's Nexus a lesson, shall we? I probably should get rid of the Reflect Ring. If I'm going to do group heals as often as I do, it's going to bite me if I try to heal. It's a neat idea to have the ring, and I am gonna have to try to keep it in mind if we fight something that uses magic too often. I'm gonna assume at this point we need to just use the save point in the middle. Because I'm gonna say when we enter things are gonna get a little spicy. Party chat, though. Let me remove that ring before I forget, and it causes trouble. I don't remember what I had on before. This one? That's attack. I need defense. 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 I'd rather have more defense. Wave song would have been nice, huh? Mark the void. Just 
toss things on until I see what one has more. Gauntlet was probably what I had on before. Adamant Gauntlet. Much better. Adamant Gauntlet was what I had on before. I figured it out. Although Mage Cell gives us more magical defense and kind of evens us out. I wonder if the even... Actually, it gives us not that much more compared to the amount of physical defense the uh, other thing gives us. So, probably not worth it. Alright, we're fine. It's fine. Party chat. Elvis is going to talk about rum again. Like he always talks about alcohol. Early didn't think things would pan out like this, I must say. What do you mean? Well, back when it all began, I was only interested in finding out what was written in Lady Emma's book. But then one thing led to another, and, well, more has happened since then that I care to even try and remember. And somehow, somewhere in there, we ended up on a quest to save the world of all things. I know no one can see the future, but still, I never expected that. And you know, I've learned something along the way, something important. I've learned how little I really know and how much more I want to. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that this has been a real journey of discovery. The discovery of my own cluelessness. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Elvis is always a kidder. Ha, you're one of a kind, Elvis. You really are. It takes someone very special to admit how little they truly know. Well, if there's still so much for you to find out, guess our journey can't end yet, right? No way, my quest for knowledge has only just begun. That's great. Uh, we have like a thousand tents. I'm gonna just use it. Out of fear. And we'll do the save again. We did level up once, right? I doubt we have enough weight. Uh, that's just magical attack. Yeah, that's... Okay. I mean, the physical attack is decent. And it only lowers the magical defense. I don't think it's worth it. Although, chance of being targeted could also be a little bit nice. What does it look like? It looks very shiny. What did I have on before? This one? <laughs> yeah, I think I still want the defense more than anything. Like, that doesn't raise, besides chance of being targeted, which shouldn't matter because I have Defend the People on. That only really raises attack, which isn't needed, and we never got any new shields, right? Yeah, that's fine. What about daggers? Gonna put you on. I don't even remember where I got these from. Did I buy them? I might have bought them. Poison's the best we can do there. Actually, wait, I wonder if we can. I remember buying Zwill. That seems nice. Can also put Ripper on. We'll put Ripper on. See, we got better daggers out of it. Because the only thing with Ripper is just the... Um... Oh, wait, that speed. That's a lot of speed. That's worth it for the speed. We go fast. I think that's why I bought them was for the speed. And then I... um Just didn't have to wait for it to hold both of them, but now we're good. Alright, going in. It's probably going to be more dungeon. But I just wanted to heal up just in case. Now this looks kind of final. The crystal's resting place is this way. The book? What the... Oh, looks like the old book's got something else to show us.
The Knight's Nexus. The source of all calamity. Evil given form. Your Majesty! Hi! Have courage, Sir Sloan. We must not abandon hope. As a baby Have Sloan. We long awaited this moment. Our time is nigh at last. Aye. We're all in this together. And we will beat this thing. For the sake of all living beings, for the peace of generations to come, we have to do this. We can't let hatred and destruction win. We've come too far for that. Haven't we, old friend? Where did her hat go? Have, my dear Emma. I'm guessing that's Gloria's dad. We are the crystals chosen. In walking this path together, so many have been saved. Myself included. Queen of Fairies, we humans live but short lives when measured against those of your kind. You may yet live to see the Nexus rise again. Should such a time come, we will be counting on you to see that new heroes of light are chosen. But we still don't know who the fourth one is. Like, I think it might be Lonsdale, but we're not positive. That was Lady Emma. And who is that with her? The King of Muser. The Fairy Queen was there too, by the sounds of it. That must be what happened 50 years ago, when my grandfather and his comrades did battle against the Knight's Nexus. Grandfather, okay. The King asked the one we couldn't see to make sure new heroes were chosen. He was talking about us, right? He was. And we are not going to let him down. We must fulfill our duty. The Knight's Nexus must not be allowed to awaken. Can we talk about how the Knight's Nexus kind of looked like Anima from Final Fantasy X? Just a little bit. It wasn't quite as shiny. Well, shiny, but like colorful, I guess. More knight-like in appearance. I didn't like miss out by not talking to you guys, right? I'm ready when you are. I'm going to stop Edna, no matter what it takes. <laughs> hey, don't look so worried. I won't do anything stupid. We'll all be celebrating together when this is over. You'll see. Do they have extra dialogue? I'm all set, old pal. Best get her behind some gear, eh? Ah, listen to me. Going on about behinds and calling your pal. Come, hero of light. Let us sally forth. Uh, I love you, Elvis. I'm all set, old pal. Bet da. Okay, it's the same thing. I just thought because it was still available. There is something I have been meaning to ask you. I know the crystal spoke to you, but why did you really join me on my quest? You had no obligation, no duty to do so. Sure, maybe not, but Sir Sloan asked me to, for one thing. But I guess I also wanted to make some kind of difference. Yeah, I could have just walked away, but I chose the harder path. I had to. People talk about fate, but hearing that stuff, I don't know why. But it makes me want to fight it. To try to change things anyway. Not much of a reason, I guess. You had the courage to defy your fate. To swim against the current. I... I guess I did, huh? And in so doing, you proved yourself rather helpful. Wow, that almost sounded like a compliment. You can just thank me, you know? I shall consider it. Damn, she cold. <laughs> That's cold. See, he even said so. That's nice. Little conversation before the end. I think we're ready. I don't have reflecting on. For doing this, we're doing it together. Do I have to like talk to them again? 
Have all the necessary preparations been made? Yeah, yeah. We're all set. Very well. Then let us proceed. We're doing this together. It's not like I was going to try to go in alone. Thought we were all good. You took your time. I was starting to get bored. Edna. Why am I not surprised? Adele, you actually came. Pretty stupid of you, I must say. Well, I won't be giving you a second chance to escape. Let us pass. I can't do that, sorry. The Knight's Nexus is about to wake up. Oh, I really can't wait. I, I don't get it. Why do you want this? Come on, you saw what happened. Dangle a crystal or two in front of some dumb humans, mix in a couple of asterisks, and BOOM! They go and destroy an entire kingdom. Bye-bye, Musa. Humans are so... broken. They deserve to be wiped out. Edna, listen to yourself! <sighs> Musa is gone. There is nothing we can do about that now. But I will not allow the fate that befell my kingdom to befall the entire world. If you insist on standing in our way, we will have no choice but to deal with you as necessary. The crystals must be restored to their rightful place. Lots of big talk, princess, but completely misguided as ever. You're not putting those crystals back, not on your life. I'll see that humanity is wiped out, if that's the last thing I... Is that what you really want? Huh? This bitterness, this anger, it, it's not you. The Knight's Nexus is making you do this. Leading you down the path to sadness and hatred. But I know the real you. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! You think I'm being used? Ha! I'm the one doing the using! Come, Nexus of Night! Unleash your power! Break your bond! I mean, that's pretty cool looking. Don't worry, I'm not about to. I'll see to it. Every last one of them is wiped out. Starting with these fools right here! Still kind of seems like you're being used a little bit, but whatever, it's fine. We're gonna beat you up. It's it's good. Don't worry about it. I'm assuming a lot of dark energy. To die. All I had to do was hand over the asterisks. They did the rest. Their selfishness drained the crystals of their power. Their arrogance broke the seal. They're going to be wiped out. And it's all their own stupid fault. We've come too far to give up now. I'm assuming weak to light, but we'll double check things. Defend the people, fluid stance, let's go. Oh, Edna. Um the default. I'm gonna have you magnify. Lightning and light. That's not too bad. Spirit also. I was gonna Might be good to switch to the Holy Blade on Adele. For the sake of this, we'll set that up as well. There's a good chance there's counters, so this might be a mistake, but whatever. I also didn't even set up anything, so... We got, like, okay critical hits, though. We got slow. Mm, might want to slow things down. Might, might want to give it a moment. Things got a little spicy there. Good thing is, um... Does that feel 
<laughs> I think at the moment, the <laughs> that just went way out of control. Good thing is Seth has a lot of brave points, so he can do the better fluid stuff. I think Adele should be able to move faster, so we'll try some of this. Yeah, I needed to go twice. That's the only thing that kind of sucks is there's a lot of stuff that I don't need to activate twice to just keep doing it, and it's not going to work because this is happening. Oh good, the other one didn't actually hit. The um, one that removes the elemental thing. I assume it's like after Gloria's turn, but I really don't know. Oh, there it is. Goodbye, elemental. Okay, slow's not the worst thing ever. Because Seth will still have the effects on him. Honestly, it's fine for Seth to be slowed. Alright, fluid left. Fluid flow. Defend my peeps. I'm gonna just switch a dagger to the uh, Holy One. I think that'd be best for Adele. Thankfully... The important people didn't get hit there. I don't think I have anything that's good against spirits. One, I need to get to something like this. Poison Dagger. Mercy Strike. Uh, let's just... I doubt we can poison, but we'll just do that. I don't think I'm actually going to have enough magic because of the crit. Oh, that didn't hit? The god... What was the counter physical that happened there? I thought that would help. Um, Was it... Did I not... Oh, the holy dagger is undead. Duh, I'm stupid. I don't know why I thought it was light damage. I'm dumb. That was a waste. It's... It's not the worst thing ever, but we could have done much better. We're doing pretty good damage-wise. The big worry is that she'll be able to do a little too much. Um, do I dare try Triplaga? I should have also healed, I think. Hey, we got two lightnings out of that. Immune to Berserk and Doom, of course. I'm not surprised that Doom is immune to me, but... I almost feel like it definitely would be better to put up another Healthbringer. And get that devotion going and hope that that's good enough. Hopefully Elvis can survive something. A little magical assistance. So my hope is that enough health bringers would be good, but this uh, hurts too much. That was the mistake there, wasn't it? Seth can't really do much about uh, multi-hit moves like that. I, I might have screwed up then by doing that. I, if that would have hit before the attack happened, you can see that that would have healed a lot. Ultra Flare. Angelic Ward helped out, though. This music's pretty good. She's mad. We can just get Gloria up again so she can raise everyone. Yeah, I'd say, I don't know. Has she done anything that's only hits one target? Kind of hasn't felt like it for a bit. 
should be able to move soon though so okay this could kill us though a plex oh elemental weaknesses ouch it's missing a bit ow silent storm sucks and ultra flare jesus that's rough did we get our silence cured? We did. Great. We're, we're good. Everything's fine. I can't devotion because I used everything right. We'll just cure again. It might be bad that we have... Uh, that we have Gloria at negative here. I'm glad I went with um, Angelic Word as a bonus on Gloria. There wasn't really a lot of abilities I wanted her to have, so I figured it was good enough. Alright, let me change my items back to something useful. Because I made a mistake. I just thought, like, yeah, holy means light damage. Uh, we'll go twice. I don't know what the counter physical is. Is it great points? It's a little unclear. We didn't get any crits, though. That's a shame. Thankfully, Elvis didn't get hit by silence there. Um, I, it's a shame that I would have to have him go twice, because we can use Hilara twice. Like, wouldn't it be nice if we could change spell to different people? Alright, that's just the elemental weakness. Which I don't... I don't know how much that really... Well, I see the dark weakness. That, that matters a bit. Hopefully the spirits can take effect, though. Resistance down, yeah. Uh, for the most part, Seth hasn't been doing a great job. I wonder if Bodyguard would have been better, because it's, well, I think it'll still protect a target even from multi-hit moves. So if we focus on keeping one person alive, it might have been a better option. One thing I can do too, I forgot to mention ability-wise, is that as with uh, Thief as the secondary attacker, I can use the Pictomancer's sub-job uh, BP reduction thing to turn this to BP1. And because of Phantom's guaranteed hit thing, this 50% chance of success becomes 100% chance, and we are able to steal BP from a target con consistently. Obviously, I can't do that right now because it's BP2. I mean, I could technically do it. I don't know how worth it it would be right now. I'm gonna go all out, I think. I don't even know if I can go all out that many times, but I'm gonna see if it works. That defaulting kind of sucks. Okay, yeah, you get extra break points from countering physical. Save us, Seth. This is gonna be rough again. Youch. Yeah. Yeah. Gloria was also saved from being a spirit master. 
That's why I want to keep her a Spirit Master. I'm willing to build around Spirit Master's specialties because they're really good. Oh, please stop. I don't know what that is. Okay. Please stop. Knock it off. We did it! Second phase. Edna! D don't come any closer! I'll, I'll kill you! Static? TV's busted? You're too late! The Nexus is awakening! You're too late! <laughs> He's got big hands. Please heal us up. I would hate to have to like start this fight with everyone where they were left off. I've got a very, very bad feeling about this. So this is a nice nexus, eh? Kinda hard to believe something like this really exists. It, it's just it's splitting open. Stand back, please. I'm going to restore the crystal's power. Gloria! Hear me, crystals. Hear me, keepers of worldly harmony. Fire, water, wind, and earth. Hear my prayer and regain your power. Is this gonna kill her? Is that why she was kind of sad and kind of lost in thought? Is it over? I sure seems like it. No, she's fine. She's standing. Nope, she's dead. Gloria. Clipping through my shoulder pad. It's fine. Why are you so cold? What have you done, Lassie? If the crystal's power is to be restored, there is only one way. A sacrifice must be made. My own. <sighs> so, this was her plan all along? You... you knew this was going to happen? My grandfather gave his life before me, and now I give mine. No! Why didn't you tell us? Why? Because if I had, you would have stopped me. Of course I would! Forgive me. Please. I never meant to upset you, really. I didn't. You have been so kind to me. It has meant so much. So very much. Now, at last, I can... Say it, and mean it. Thank you so much. Gloria, please, you've got to wake up. Gloria! Kind of upset that I forgot to change the default outfits for that scene. The clipping shield master thing was... Did it just end? That's really just it? I, I don't... Hmm... I don't know if I believe it? I don't know. I mean, I've been kind of saying that Bravely Default gets nuts story-wise, but it seems so, like... By the numbers with it. Huh? D lyrics? Um, it was... It was 
still good. I would say maybe this was my least favorite Bravely Default game. No, wait, no. Fuck, no, this can't. There's, like, other things, though. Right? There has to be. What about his Seth Stone? He had that stone. I... Bravely Default makes me think this isn't the fucking credits. I can't... I can't try to pretend that I think these are the credits. I'm gonna still go over my spiel. I, um... It, I, it was mostly the same as like any other Bravely Default games. There are some weird changes that they've done that I'm not really a fan of. They kind of got rid of a lot of quality of life stuff. Being able to use auto moves was a lot easier in the DS games. Like you could just have your setup work and then like when you start a battle start an auto. They might have stopped that because sometimes you'd start a battle in auto that you didn't want to, but I don't know. It's still... Like, the reason you do auto battle is to make fights go quicker in the overworld and grinding to go quicker. They, um... I don't remember if I mentioned it, but the way that the battle's, like, active time gauge works is different. In the older games, you would choose everyone's moves and then start, like that turn with everyone doing their thing based on their speed determines which moves first. I think this way works fine for each person to have their own timer for when they get to move, but I do think it sucks with any uh, buffs that you want to give to a party because that kind of goes on the, like there, I feel like there needs to be some kind of global time. Like a default global time for buffs and debuffs. To keep it kind of even. Because, like, keeping someone slow and debuffing them will make the debuff last longer. You want your party members to be fast, but that'll make the buffs not last as long. I, um... It just basically just means I don't really want to use some of the buffing skills. I like the party members. I... I think I would say I liked Bravely Seconds party members the most. Outside of like, kind of cringy. The problem with Bravely Second was some of the dialogue was not great. The main character was maybe the least interesting main character in Bravely Second. I think Seth was alright, but I kind of liked Tiz more, but that's more so because he was in Bravely Second. And, uh, Elvis and Adele were good. Gloria was fine. I think why I like Bravely Second is mainly because of the returning characters, but... It's a beautiful day, huh? Aye. And that's a heck of a view. I've never really noticed until now. Not really. How truly beautiful it all is. Yeah, looking at it now, it's hard to believe everything that happened. It's all thanks to Gloria. Without her, none of us would be here to see this. She's not here to see it with us. Save your completed game data. Loading this data will take you to the save point just before the Chamber of Sealing. Okay. Sure, why not? Like a complete it save. Is uh have a final word what we had as our objective before? I didn't even fight Jumanji. Is that really all the If the crystal's power okay. is <laughs> restored? God damn it. There is only 
One way, a sacrifice, must be made. My own. <sighs> so, this was your plan all along? You... you knew this was going to happen? My grandfather gave his life before me, and now I give mine. No! Why didn't you tell us? Why? Because if I had, you would have stopped me. Of course I would! Forgive me. Please. I never meant to upset you, really. I didn't. Is this from the book? You have been so kind to me. It has meant so much. It's got the, like, weird book so vision. So very much. Now, at last, I can... Look at the way that his coat was clipping through Elvis. And mean it. Thank you so much. Gloria, please. You've got to wake up. Gloria! What... What was that? The book usually shows us scenes from the past, but... That was something different, right? <sighs> is it true, Gloria? Is that how this is going to end? I... Yes. There is no other way. For the Knight's Nexus to be sealed away, I must give my life. Th no! Its power is immeasurable. Even with the crystal's aid, the Nexus can only be restrained for so long. At full strength, the crystals can keep its evil at bay for two centuries at best. Fifty years ago, my grandfather laid down his life in order that that strength might be replenished. He did his duty as a monarch of the Musen line, but then the crystals were stolen, and their blessings misused. Now, their power is all but spent once more. Which means another sacrifice. And a lot sooner than expected. And you've known that this whole time? Yes. And I have long since made my peace with the burden I must bear. My life is a trivial price to pay when weighed against the countless thousands that would otherwise be lost. But Gloria... Are we really going to let her do this? No. So, this doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, spoilers for Bravely Second. But if, um, in Bravely Second, you get to, like, the end point where you fight the big bad and you lose. Or I don't know if you fight, I don't remember if you fight the big bad. But basically, you lose and the world is put into darkness and everything's fucked and it's like what do we do now what you need to do and it's a bit vague you have to actually start a new game because there's like I, I think after that you unlock new game plus and you have a special item in new game plus that basically lets you travel back in time and win a fight that you were supposed to lose at the beginning of the game because you have all of your stats and powers by winning that fight and basically that activates the second half of the game where you retain all of your memories about what happened you can do the rest of the game kind of doing the timeline like better i kind of thought something like that might be happening especially because we had that choice at the beginning with the wind crystal you might have remembered that i kind of had a theory that the crystals were bad uh i don't really think that's true anymore but I thought maybe the thing would be that we needed to not accept the crystals' help because the crystals were evil and were like nefarious or something, and I thought that we would go back in time and not take the crystals' help, and that would cause things to change. Obviously, we didn't go back that far this time, but, uh... And interesting. I am sorry, but this is the only way. Come, we must make haste. No. Am I supposed to leave? I 
can't believe it. Is Gloria really going to have to die to keep us all safe? So the book didn't show us something from the past this time, which means what exactly? Uh, what is our goal here? Have a final word with everyone. I'm gonna leave, maybe, because like I, I don't think we can just enter. I feel like it'll just do the thing again. Where are you going? <laughs> to find another way to end this. Yeah. But there is no other way. Your grandfather. Glad we have time to do this, though. There was. I have to believe they were right. Wait, the book. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. My time to shine, is it? Right, so let's have a wee look see. But you can't read it all yet, can you? I. Uh. Let's see now. Um. <sighs> Fine. Guess there's nothing else for it. Yeah, fairy town. fairy town. Card fairy games town. at Fairy Town? You mean. I am missing My a couple. My sister found out about the Knight's Nexus before she left Magmel, right? Maybe we can learn something useful there, too. Well, hang about. I didn't think humans were able to get to your hometown. Oh, you'll get there, no problem. As to whether they'll let you in, or me, for that matter, well, that's another question. I left, too. And long enough ago that I can't exactly pretend not to have been corrupted by humans. Hey, come on, now. Still, it's the only idea we've got, so I'll just have to try and talk them round. Sounds like we need to hurry. Come on, then. The entrance to Magmel is in the Wayward Woods. Of course they would be there. Yeah. You mean it was right under our noses this whole time? Yep. In fact, we walked right past it at least once. <laughs> oh. Okay then. I had to have gone the through the visit. doorway that is in Wayward Woods. Yeah, new chapter. And I think we went like the problem is we went so long in the game just being played like straight as a normal fantasy JRPG that I started to really doubt that anything like this would happen. I hear it. I hear the voice of hate. It's alive, and it's coming home at last. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't. They'll die. Every last human will die. They took everything from me. The people I loved. My home. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Now I'm going to take everything from them in return. Everything. Say good night, children of men. Never forget. Never forget. Now come. Destroy it all. The humans. Their stupid world. Everything. <laughs> Well, let's not worry about Adele's sister. I'm sure she'll be fine. The level limit for the freelancer job has been lifted. Excuse me? <laughs> 